What up, what up, guys? Your Fruit Punch here. I'm back with some more White Album Memories of the Falling Snow. Last time we played, Rena kissed me. Or Toya, I guess. Was it me? <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Uh, She kissed somebody. And I think it was my self insert protagonist. And we thought nothing of it. Did she say it? What she said? Don't, don't worry about it. What the fuck? I don't know what to do. Are we just gonna act like that never happened? I guess we are. Oh. I'm gonna always find out. Right? Let's go, let's go talk to her. Fuji. No. More, more or less. Sure, you got that. こっちはもういいからさ。向こうのチームの手伝い行ってくれない人で足りてないっぽいからさ。シュー。Here yeah, they sent me over kind of a last minute. Yep. And when, when she smiles at me like that, it reminds me of what happened the other day, and I'm left feeling incredibly embarrassed. Are we really not going to think anything of the kiss? That night, we were enveloped in lights under the tree. Wait, what? Oh, she still remembers. Yep, but hey, Rena. <laughs> oh, she laughs. She says, laughing cheerfully. Okay. Stay positive and do the best you can to get the day's work done. And like that, the past will disappear. I'm not sure whether I want to say something, make excuses, or apologize. Completely at a loss. I find myself at a standstill with no idea what to do. The Rina Ogata stepping into my timeline, even if only for a moment, feels almost like a dream. Am I just supposed to let the day since then pass me by? I become greedy without realizing it was happening. Until recently, I never even considered the future with her in the realm of possibility. And besides, I already have girlfriend, the Yugi Morikawa. I only just step into the other side of the paradise. With all that in mind, I'm still not convinced that it's even remotely possible and yet. Wait, are you saying that he'll cheat on Yuki if it's possible? Wait, are you loyal or stupid? Which one are you? Is it the only reason why he's not going out with all the other girls because he doesn't think he has a chance? I snapped to win Rina who's currently on standby, calls my name one more. What about what? What? I'm blown away. She laughs, clearly amused by my reaction. Okay. Oh, I mean, oh, of course. Did she wrote it for him? What? However, just as I look over at her. With that perfect smile on her face, she resumes her standby position. I have no idea how Rina feels about anything. Maybe I'm a little scared to find out. Maybe I'm afraid of seeing myself carried away by her whimsical nature. Or maybe it's the exact opposite. Because, but she sings from a place where our feelings are simply unreachable, like they always have been. That's probably how they still are, which is why she looks as beautiful as she does, standing there amidst the light and smoke. That's the result of abandoning your emotions. And then the music begins to play. Can we hear it? Oh. Oh! Anime! Oh! 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 oh lips! And eyes! Oh, it's this song! Holy fuck! They played this in my album too! I like this song a lot. Right 
Hold on, let me listen to the lyrics. Oh, crap, 3D CG. Damn, it's hard to listen to the lyrics. I'm so dazzled by her performance and animation. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I just ignore all the lyrics. I was so busy trying to look at the pictures. I can only do one thing at a time. And I chose visuals. And it was worth it. <laughs> After singing through the song several times, we recorded several takes for the demo take. I watched for a while. Dang it. Can we replay that? I wasn't paying attention. Like I said, I wasn't listening to the lyrics. It was whatever. I watched for a while, impressed by her stamina and endurance. She steps down from the stage. This somehow has the energy to bounce over to me. Same to you, Rina. I was only looking at your dance moves. It was amazing. She burst into delighted laughter once more. I guess what she did wasn't actually that hard for a pro like her. Not like I know much when it comes to the technical side of showbiz. I'm a man with very low vocabulary. I can't even say vocabulary. Vocabulary? Vocabulary. <laughs> I guess so. I'm not really sure what else to say after watching a performance like that. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Whatever. Yeah. I can tell she means it by the huge smile on her face. Honesty. Huh? Eiji. When did he get here? Just いいじゃないちょっとくらい。俺だって藤井君と話したいんだ。今は私がトウヤ君に今の感想を聞いているところなのに邪魔しないで。Hey, why do Eiji like talking to Toya? <laughs> why do everyone like talking to Toya? Akira, Eiji, Yuki, Rina, Misaki. Forgot her name. Haruka. Mana, male or female, they always want to talk to Toya for some reason. Oh yeah, I don't know about uh, Yayoi. I think Yayoi is the only one. She's very uh, mysterious. Catch. Huh. Oh god, caught in the middle of another fight. They both sound incredibly childish, and yet their personalities are on two entirely different levels. MC Aura. Isn't AG trying to steal my girl, Yuki, though? Does he want Yuki or does he want Toya? Maybe he's trying to get close to Yuki to get close to Toya. Ever thought about that? Because of the forbidden love, this is the 90s. So it ain't right yet. Oh, they don't know it. Feel like Toya looks incredibly delicious, but I can't. No, I can't. I want to be with him, but I can't. I'll go for the second best, Yuki. If I can be with Yuki, I can be with Toya. Maybe that's what he thought. I mean, a girl literally gave you a diamond ring right after she ran into me. That's true, Sayako. I think this main character is handsome. And you saw his, uh, his neck structure, right? He got a strong neck, so he's probably buff. You don't know that. He looked kind of buff in the Yuki picture. And she said, get in line. She might even have easy beat when it comes to kid logic. I don't even know what I was saying. All I said was amazing. I don't have anything more to say to you, Rina. Uh, uh, sure. 
変なことも言うけど聞いちゃダメよシェ変なこと言ってないで早く行けよ分かったわよどうやくそれじゃシアやっと行った Alright now I, I don't want to swing that way man シア He says clearly amused 珍しいことだなリナが時間にギリギリに動くなんてやっぱり気づいてなかったか。He chuckles dryly. ちょっとは自覚しなきゃな。曲内でもリナを素で笑わすやつって有名なんだぜ、セネ。Damn, they were right. If you can make a girl laugh, then you got a chance. Right? The first step is to make her smile. I don't know about that. I'm already kind of aware. つらい立場になったな。What? どうする Do about what? You don't. I didn't make a quality. You can go to the cup. You know, that's true. Nice guys finish last, too. That's one thing we can't forget. And this man definitely finished last. I'm talking about Toya. First chance is a bad wallet. That's true sometimes as well. Well, you need like a nice car, charismatic personality, and、um, you can't be too nice.、Mm. I think that's the secret ingredient.、Uh, I get it now. Yuki is in direct competition arena. The same arena who had to leave so many things behind to get here, who's also participating in a music festival. With that in mind, which girl will I end up rooting for? Yuki or Rina? <laughs> How did he read my mind? What the heck? All I said was amazing. How was that good feedback? Knock it off. Is he picking on me? Yeah, I'm not sure. Really? Uh huh. It did? I think he. I think I kind of understand Asia a little bit more now. He put. I think he put his career first, and then his feelings second. Because remember when we did the Yuki route, he was rooting for Toya and Yuki because he know that with Toya, Yuki could be a better singer. So that's why he, he did that. Like, help them escape and stuff. But he couldn't hold his feelings back, so he accidentally. No, I should say. He, he kissed Yuki, but he didn't want to force his feelings on her. So he gave her an option, right? I don't know. The ending actually fucking sucks. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I'm like, wait, that doesn't fucking make sense anymore. <laughs> Man, it's so unlike him to do that. That's the weird thing. But they say that love has no reason. So I guess that could be a reason. I think that's just bad writing, in my opinion. I think that's stupid as fuck. But we gotta, like,、uh, keep reading, right? It'll uncover everything. Like, the more character routes we do, the more we know about the, the main characters. This is Eiji, Yuki, and Toya. I don't know if Rina's the main character. But honestly, Eiji g i v e me, like, his personality work first, feeling second. It's pretty much like the traditional Japanese mentality. This is the 90s. So, they probably didn't have many ideas to copy. Damn. Why you guys say it like that? That's true, too, though. They could have got enough inspiration. You could have said that. There weren't that many inspirations. I mean, isn't the 90s the most innovative thing in the era? I feel like it's the 90s and the 80s. That's when a lot of cool shit happened. But. Let's see. Sorry. Had no idea what else to say. Yeah, what a good night. Bunsiki to Sanji no matter. 
See? He's like, now he's trying to root for Toya and Rina. Because he know that that's going to make Rina a better singer. When he knew that Yuki could be a better singer, when Toya's around, he purposely lead Toya to Yuki. Like, almost every time in the Yuki route. Like, remember, he take him backstage. And then he took Toya. He made sure to... Uh, that he watched Yuki performance and give her, you know, whatchamacallit, a push, whatever, all that shit. And this one, he noticed that if he be with Rina, it's gonna make Rina better. So he's probably gonna push for Toya Arena now. Sure. By she, I'm assuming he means Rina. See, my. AG suddenly gets to his feet despite us still being in the middle of a conversation. Uh, right. Also stand up. What the hell? Is he just making fun of me now? He slaps me on the back before heading off to the destination unknown. The tension between us? I wasn't just imagining it. I felt like I was being dragged along by a river current, unable to break free. Going all according to EG plan. He's gonna hook up Toya with Rina. I work well into the evening before heading home. I started distractingly humming Rina new song on the way back, but quickly stopped when I realized it hadn't even been announced yet. We can't. We don't wanna leak the song. So we got a free day on the third. Should I work on something? Uh, no events. Remember last time we stepped into an event? Our entire playthrough got destroyed. Alright, I think I need to talk about literature, right? Alright, man, let's get some more together. Fuck, oh, we unlock literature. Thank God. Okay. What's this, the uniform thing? How is uniform related to literature? Maybe literature relates to school. School work. But then there's also art. Man, literature is so vague. Now we gotta support Rena at this TV station. Let's see. All right, we're gonna have small talk with her. Hello. Oh, she calls out to me. Did that ever happen for it? Who called out who? Did Toya call out to her or she calls out to Toya? I don't remember. Did we get any more snow this year? <laughs> Thinking back, it snowed that day when we shared a kiss underneath that big tree. And my album too, he kissed Kazusa in the snow, right? Oh, I remember. Wait a minute, did he share the first kiss and then fuck? Oh, damn, how did he? The fucking Chad. And then Cessna's naked on her birthday. I remember that shit. That was funny. That was fucking awesome. That was funny. Damn, that's fucked up. It's so hilariously fucked up. Damn. She was naked on her birthday waiting for how did he? And then he kissed Kazusa in the snow and then went back to his room to share a, uh... It was Valentine's Day. I think it was February. I don't even remember when it happened. Yeah. The falling snow will always remind me of that special moment we shared. Oh, it was still a little hard for me to wrap my head around. What exactly is going on between us? Then she said that twice. Oh, it's a little bit different. She wants to kiss again. No, I think she just wanted to snow again. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. Hold on. I just read that bit. She repeats herself, almost word for word, quietly murmuring under her breath. No, I have Yuki. I don't, I don't condone this, this. Damn it, we can't talk to Rina until the 13th. Okay, now what? What do we work on? I did literature. What was next? Entertainment? I feel like mana is really easy to talk to. I talk to mana a lot, huh? Hello. I forgot who said this. I don't know if it was you or someone else. Someone said Cessna is like a combination of Yuki and um, Rina. Right? Rina, greedy side. Right? Where she snatched her first kiss. Oh! Fuck! That's right! Cessna snatched her first kiss. I forgot! That's what would happen. That's right. Well, technically, Kazusa. But, you know, fully aware how to eat Cessna. It was pretty similar. It was like sudden, right? I don't remember. No, she confessed first. I don't remember. It's been a while. But yeah, I think Cessna. I think I agree with the person. I forgot who said it. Cessna is like a combination of uh, Yuki and Rina. And Kazusa. Kind of like mana, to be honest. And in terms of them two being really mean. <laughs> I don't want to call it Sundieru. But it's pretty much that. Um, who else is Kazusa like? She's really close to mana, to be honest. She's like more angry in mana. That's what causes us like. More angry mana. And then obviously Chiaki, Misaki. They're like polar opposites, honestly. But similar character features. And then uh got her name. Start with M. Mary. Maya. I forgot her name already. Our boss. Our album too. And Yayoi, man, fuck, they got nothing in common. Oh, you know what? I think, I think causes uh besides mana, I think causes like Yayoi. In terms of being mysterious, and we know we can't be with them, right? It feels wrong to be with them. We gotta be with Yuki. I think Yayoi and causes might have very uh, similar features and characteristics. We gotta play Yayoi, right? Route. I think Kazusa only shares with mana of them being very mean. They both are mean characters. That like to yell at Harihi and Toya, I guess. Oh, and they also have mommy issues, I guess. That's another thing mana and uh, Kazusa have in common. They have issues with their parents. Some causes don't even know her dad. We never find out who the hell is causes her dad. Who the hell is he? Oh, my literature is level one. I thought I maxed it out. Remember the 13. You want to talk to Rina? Hey, if I talk to Rina, is that gonna fuck things up? Fuck you. I can talk to her whenever I want to. Let's save just in case, though. Oh, no. I'm curious. Hey, what? I think my romance is level two. Let's try romance again. Let's see what we can do with Rina. Fuck. Oh, we can do this, though. Hobbies. 
What's a sport that you really like to try? I was just wondering what kind of sports would be up your alley. Something stylish, maybe. Or like boxing. Though I know she'd get mad if I mention it. Other than that, I'm not sure. I'm a guess. I think she'll like to try... I do like tennis, but for a different reason. What would I like to see Rina try? Volleyball also, but for a different reason. Damn, I don't even know. <laughs> I might say bowling. I don't think she's going to say bowling. Honestly, it has to be a popular sport, probably. I want to say ping pong, but that might be slightly offensive. I'll say soccer. But someone like Rina, maybe the world is full of things she loves to experience. She lives in a world where she can seemingly do what she wants, have anything her heart desires. But in reality, she has to be trapped in a surprisingly small box. At the very least, that's what goes to my head when I see Yuki. But it might not be the scene for someone like Rina, who was born in the limelight. So, yeah. Lighting. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> I would never guess that. That's really cool, actually. All right, that's a good ass answer. That's way better than all the answers I just mentioned. I forgot about gliding. And then we could just mention like snowboarding and then skateboarding. Snowboarding would be cool too. That's another cool answer. Huh? Wow, that's exciting. You went hang gliding? I know what she's talking about. That's where you jump off a cliff and use a glider shaped kind of like a kite to fly through the air. That one. No, you're really cool. Huh? No, no. It wasn't weird at all. I would be so freaking scared. I hate heights. Wow. I can picture it. Rina all alone sewing through the sky, jumping from one updraft to the next. I'm sure she would make for an incredible sight while riding the wind. You know what? If Rina invites me, yes. Yes, I would love to go hang gliding with you. Huh? Me? Hanging out with Rina? Just the two of us? <laughs> oh, maybe, uh... I don't want that to happen, then. Don't say that. <laughs> that day is quite a ways off. Until then, I really hope she... Wait, no. I hope I remember we had this conversation. <laughs> Just in case, right? I'll cheer her up. Hang gliding. Who's paying? I think I got a part time, right? I'm a tutor. Does it pay being a tutor? I hope so. I'll try talking to someone else. I like talking to Mana, though. Fuck you. I can talk to Mana. I talk to whoever I want to talk to. Alright, well, I got to level next. Oh, Jason! Yeah, I know I'm not tutoring you. Haven't been. Oh, we can talk about Hank gliding with Rena Ogata. <laughs> Let's do it. Did you know this? Apparently, Rena Ogata is really into hang gliding. I've become somewhat of a groupie lately. She actually seemed surprised. She's shocked that I seem so well versed on a topic I shouldn't know anything about. Not like I can explain how I know. I'm not making it up, it's true. Then she goes again, acting like she's more informed than she is. It's not that weird, I heard it from Rina herself. It's exactly what I can't say. From a trustworthy source who is also a friend. That doesn't sound convincing in the slightest. It's exactly what someone would say when they're full of crap. Of course, Manda wouldn't know that. That's expected from a member of Rina fandom. 
外とそういうのも似合うのよねなんかこう別の意味でおしゃれっていうかスタイリッシュって That's what I'm saying dude It's cool just like Rina Rina is really cool She likes classical music She's well informed on art She very likes、uh, traditional Chinese dishes. What do they call it? Fine China. There we go. And then she likes、uh, music boxes, authentic wood, hang gliding. She's a cool person. She's like a real celebrity. That's what she is. She's like a celebrity. I guess she is a celebrity. But she actually acts like one. It's pretty cool. They, they both sound great. I'm not exactly one to ask about word choices. There you go, copying your idols like usual. <laughs> Why is he an asshole? What the heck? Why did he say that to her? I don't know. Oops, she heard me. I, that's what I'm saying. Hang gliding is cool. Well. Man, is so small, she just g e t blown out into space. Or get tangled up in a tree like some something in a comic book. Uh, she startled me. For a minute, I thought she was pissed again. No, she definitely is. Uh, uh, I'll say it's cool. Nice haircut. What? This? I had to cut the hair, man. Can't get it too long, get split ends. I say it's pretty cool. I kind of want to save. We're going to do all the choices. I'm curious. I say it's pretty cool. It, it looks pretty cool. I'm not sure how good I'll be at it, but I'll be willing to give it a shot at least. Yeah, let's go invite Rina. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. I know, we're gonna invite Rina. Yeah, I get it. I check out while doing my best to placate her. Still, though, a part of me thinks it would be pretty fun to go hang gliding with Mana. How many times do I have to say nothing? Walking side by side, we continue our English chatter. That was a nice conversation. I like that conversation. Too bad I'm not gonna tutor her. <laughs> Fuck no. I gotta hang out with Rena. Let's be an asshole. Let's see. That kind of stuff sounds pretty dangerous. What's she gonna say? She's grinning at me. Figured what?、Oh, don't fucking say it. What type is that? Oh my god, she said it. Aerophobia. How did she know? I am afraid of heights. But, you know, if Rena, D, Rena Ogata, invite me to go hang gliding, I'll go. I'll overcome that fear. There you go, making assumptions again. That's really what she thought of me ever since the first time I showed up at her house. Have you know, heights don't really bother me. I just can't help but picture you being blown away by strong gusts of wind. Oops, I said it. Crap, she's pissed. I was joking, sorry. Actually, I've been afraid of heights as long as I can remember. I'm one of those, uh, what word did you use? Aerophobia. Area phobia. There's no winning with her. <laughs> You're going too. But then you say you never been hang gliding before. She does have a point. Aside from the danger of getting blown away by a sudden squall, of course. Nope, I'm good. I think, uh. I think Mana's cool. Right? Isn't Mana pretty cool? Oh. I 
I want to have the bookmark on that thingy. I guess you gotta complete it. And then auto saves, maybe? Yeah, auto save. And that's when I have a bookmark on those choices. Maybe I'll go sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I apparently said something hilarious. It's not something most people usually do. Hang gliding, that is. But there are places you can go to rent equipment. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's not that funny. Why is she so mean? I'll put the volume on my side. Uh, I, I wouldn't go that far. Though I'd love to tell her that. Oh my god. That's my line. What an asshole. That way I have all the bookmarks and shit. I like hanging out with Mana. She's cool. Her and Rina are cool. I want to see them talk to each other. Rina and Mana. I think they'll get along a lot. Great. Right. Oh, oh yeah. What's up, Emily? Chilling, playing dating sims. Oh my, yeah, just chilling, playing dating sims. I want to level my romance. There we go. Enjoy the stream. Appreciate it. Oh, that reminds me. I got to drink water. The most important thing to do. Right. I gotta drink two cups of this a day. I'll make sure. Oh, we can talk to Rena again. All right. You know, honestly, the people I like talking to this in this game so far has been like Mana and Rena. Yuki. I just like Yuki as a person. Haruka. It's kind of fun to talk to sometimes. Sometimes she kind of duck my questions. And then uh, Misaki is pretty fun, I guess, too. But I really like talking with Mana and Rina. This one's lock. They're all lock. Okay, literature. Let's do this. Did you ever draw or paint pictures, Rina? <laughs> Why? I figured those would be suitable hobbies for someone as classy as her. I don't know. I was just curious. I'm too embarrassed to come right out and say it. Oh, we can make this into an anime! I know you're pretty busy. Yes, sir. Oh, shit, I know that. Alright. Damn, this is cool. I didn't know you could do that. I figured. Sometimes you can judge a book by its cover. 
デザイン系だと思っているけれど。Wow, this feels so immersive. <laughs> I like that a lot better. <laughs> But you gotta have the subtitles. A designer, huh? Interesting. She gets cooler the more I learn about her. それでも自分ではなかなかだと思うわよ。You know, Rina talked about this earlier. Um, I think it was when we were in the cafe. She talked about her first job. Like when her Nissan was a musician and she was just rooting for him. She made all the designing clothes for him or something like that. And she gave him the wardrobe, whatever. So she picked out all his outfits in the concert. When he performed concert and stuff. It was all thanks to Rina. I think that's like her true passion. Oh. oh, yeah? No, that's not it. I just heard that while we had a lot of talent for music and performance, it was really shown brightest in his elaborate stage designs. So she must be incredible if that what helped him with Rina. I think this is the right step, right? Yeah. We did this before. I, I remember now. We had to delete this though, right? Because the route was a dud. I think I, I, I took the red and wing from Sayako and then it destroyed the arena route. You must really like doing that kind of stuff, huh? That's a girly lit to her laughter that seems out of place from how she usually acts. I get that. It's unfortunately a wish that's impossible to fulfill at this point of her life. What the hell? Oh. He gets dizzy. Oh, this one he gets sick. He gets sick on this day, every day, or every playthrough. And it's Yuki calling him. Yuki, I'm okay. I'm going back to bed. You woke me up. I was on the talent though. Damn, Yuki, keep calling me. Who the fuck's calling me? Yes, this is Fuji speaking. Uh, yes, this is him. No. This beautiful voice sounds familiar. Is that you, Rina? Oh, she's worried about me. How did she know I got sick? Yuki probably said something. Huh? What do you mean? I knew it was Yuki. Uh, kinda. This is embarrassing. You don't have to go around telling people everything about me, Yuki. I, I guess I do that. Did Yuki really tell her that? God, Yuki! Why? Yeah. Of course. It's an incredibly kind gesture, but it makes her sound so much older than she really is. Roger, this is really sweet of you, Rina. She chuckles, her voice subdued. What? Why? I guess it is true. You just want to go to sleep when you're sick. Don't do anything. Okay, we'll do. Or won't. How sick does she think I am? Huh? You're calling from work? But instead of answering me, she just laughs in response. 
Maybe you shouldn't push yourself, Rena. And she hangs up. I can't believe Rena called me from work to see how I was doing. Even just from hearing her voice, I feel a little better. Oh, what the fuck? What about when Yuki called? Do you feel better when Yuki called you? Did he ever say he feel better when Yuki called him? Damn. He really likes Rina. It's morning. I'm feeling a lot better. Maybe thanks to those phone calls I got last night. I need to be sure to thank Yuki and Rina. Oh, two. What day is it? The 13th is special today. So... What? Did I get that? What's the phone call that she made? Uh, let's do something. Let's stay home. She said, don't push myself. What? How you check out your achievements? Is it this one? You mean this? Administration? Hold on, let me check. Oh, I got it. Hey, what come my trophies didn't show up? What the fuck? Hey, have my trophies been showing up? I think I disabled that. Fuck. I wonder. I was like, what? Where's my trophies? Damn, 27% players. Not a lot of arena fans out there, huh? All right. Alright, well, I gotta level up down. We could do romance real quick. Just max that out real quick. For my uh, arena chan. Fourteen. So we're not doing anything until the nineteen. Okay. You help with the stage design for your own performances, right? Yeah. I was just thinking about it and was wondering if that meant you design your own outfits too. <laughs> I don't think I have either of those. I never know how to respond to a quippy comments. <laughs> You think she designed this? This one's kind of nice. I like this outfit. Huh? So you don't get another designer to help with any of that? ある意味デザイナーさんたちのステージでもあるわけでしょ? So that's what you use them for. Oh yeah? Not like I ever looked that closely before, but at least as far as her wardrobe is concerned, I haven't noticed anything particularly hideous. In fact, everything always looks amazing. 
どうやっても金井選手工業チックに見えちゃうんだよねちょっと貧相っていうか I guess I never got that impression though まあ実際に私と兄さんの2人でやっているわけだからその通りなんだけれど2人でチクチク張り仕事しているみたいなものだし I will wear anything Rina makes for me Okay, anything is a strong word, but I wear something. You guys really do that? It's hard for me to imagine. As she apologizes, you can see her struggling desperately to hold the giggles at bay. I mean, why would I assume you lied to me? Or, I don't know, being sarcastic with me. Either or. Not always. If I were always like this, I'd be as bad as Yuki. Still, I think you are an amazing sense of style. I guess I spaced out thinking about it. So? She laughs innocently. Maybe. And until you take up computer design, you're going to give the professionals out there a run for their money. An expression of doubt crosses her face. PC98 on Windows. Obviously, PC98. It's not the. Uh, 2000s yet. She has to use 98. Just like uh, Toya. Toru. Toma. <laughs> oh, I don't remember the name. 19. Yeah, I remember the 19. Her. 95? Oh. Windows 95. She could use Windows, but she has to use 98. Love of Romance. MS DOS. God. Oh. <laughs> Get that. Man. You know, people say they like old shit. <laughs> I don't know about that. I like old stuff, but in certain things. I think retro headphones are cool. I think vintage looking vase is cool. I think old pistols, uh, they're cool. Not for reliability, and I don't want to get my hand blown off. But come on, man. Vintage TV, computers. Uh, OS's anything like that. Come on, man. No one missed those pay phones. Come on. Where am I? That's 19. I max out. Almost. <gasps> I can't max out fucking romance anymore. Two literature. Dial 18. 1 800 collect. <laughs> no cords to call. Parents to pick us up from home. <laughs> 19, 19. Which one can I have romance with? Probably Haruka. Oh, Toya. What? Damn it, it's locked. Windows. Damn, you got me thinking about Windows now. 19, 19. Uh, small talk, copies, entertainment, literature. 
I want to upgrade lift share a little bit more. Can't multitask. Peanut size brain. The 18. Mana. Can I talk to Romus about mana? I think it's long. Let me try Kira. I want to max out Romus. That way we can talk all about romance with, uh... Uh, Rina. I almost called her Misaki. I don't know why. Alright, the 19... Echoes. I'm working at Echoes today. Head over to the cafe. Welcome! What? Yuki? I thought this was arena event. Oh, Yuki. As soon as she spots me, she immediately walks over, clearly delighted to see me. Lately, I've only been able to see her while I'm working, but it's made me cherish the time to get together more. Stop being ridiculous. It sounds like a line the protagonist of a love story would say. Which makes me embarrassed. Go on, take a seat. You must be tired, right? Oh, Rina's with her. An unexpected voice from behind her startles her. Damn, dude. Rina took over and her theme song is playing. I can tell she's teasing Yuki, but there's a no exasperation in her voice. Embarrassed, we both speak up at the same time. Damn, she's taller than Yuki. Rina is completely done with the situation. Yuki is utterly mortified. There she goes, acting like a kid in public again. So you came here together, huh? I say it once the two of them sit down at the bar. Oh, Yayoi. She suddenly jumps to her feet. With that, Yuki dashes outside. Damn, it's just the two of us now. It's too late, she's gone. <laughs> oh, Yuki. It's no big deal. I'm used to it. All I can do is laugh awkwardly. She is a pretty big airhead. But I don't think it's my place to badmouth her. For Mina is aspiration. I get the feeling Yuki does this kind of stuff around her a lot. But maybe I'm just reading too much into it. I'm not sure I go that far. And then do with sweetness. It's more that I'm just used to that part of her personality. I see you were able to skip the studio today. I say trying to change the topic. So I see. There's a side of him I yet to see. Despite knowing he's a composer. I'm sure that kind of stuff happens sometimes. At least that's the image I have of composers and lyricists. They tend to be sensitive and high strung. Her expression suddenly darkens. What? Oh, this is character development. Remember I told you, AG. It doesn't fit his character that he attacked Yuki. 
and forced himself on her in the Yuki Rao. That felt out of character. And I was like, uh, I shouldn't jump to the conclusion and call it bad writing. We should read more and find out later because they'll tell us more through the other characters' perspectives. They're telling us more by E.G. and Rina's perspective that he used to be what we met him last year. This is a new year, right? January. So last year, he was a pretty nice guy, kind of. But this year, he's very edge on edge and stress. He's a different person this year. Her beautiful smile reappears and she changes the topic. Not yet. All right. What? Yeah. All I can see is her uh, Nissan Emoto spat of massive proportions. You don't really think Age is going to um, do something to Yuki, right? What? What the fuck? What is, does this happen before? She falls into a miserable silence. What should I say to her? Uh huh? What the f what the fuck? You're overthinking this. Oh god. That's what I'm supposed to say. Really? I have a feeling you overthink this, Rina. <laughs> she suddenly looks up at me, surprised. I mean, if AG really did um fall in love with her, and then kept bringing her to the studio. It's just that I don't think he's that type of guy. Yeah, maybe I am. But I believe that Yuki would never do anything that shady. I want to believe that more than anything. Besides, if you start doubting someone, they can easily grow out of control. All you do is bring about your own worst ending. That's the thing I'm most afraid of. I still don't think age is that kind of person. She murmurs her breath, so unlike her usual self. I don't know him that well. It's just a feeling I get. Huh? What do you mean? I'm not sure what she meant by that. Oh, the nice guy thing is working. Yeah? To be fair, I'm not necessarily doing any of that on purpose. So try trusting your Nissan a little more. He is your flesh and blood after all. Hey, at least he's never been publicly called out as a womanizing sleazebag or anything, right? Uh, yeah? Yeah, I guess. Her gaze is resolutely serene. Oh. Rina! Rina! She's joking, right? Rina Ogata, the Rina Ogata would never seriously say something like that to a nobody like me. She might say something like that to a deadpan expression, but then quickly lose control before bursting into laughter, her mirth as charming as always. And then I laugh too, awkwardly but lightly. Whenever I talk to top idol Rina Ogata, I'm always seen to fall for her playful jokes. Seducing me? Is she? I'm deflecting her signal. My character's a moron. He keep calling her the Rina Ogata. He's a fucking moron, bro. <laughs> oh, it's okay though. That's what makes him charming. The the ignorance is blissful. Her demeanor is always so incredibly classy and charming, but this time she doesn't smile at me at all. She reaches out her hand out for mine. Hello, Ogata Rina. Oh. Oh, don't hold my hand. Just then, the door to the cafe swings open. Rina-chan! 
Uh. Ara, Yuki. Did she hear what we were talking about? No, it doesn't look like look that way. I don't think she heard us, but still, her former good mood is completely gone. What's wrong? What? Huh? Huh? Eiji? Yo quickly appears behind him, nodding silently in my direction, greeting. You think Yayoi was delaying Eiji? So Yuki could have more time with me? His glances at me briefly before turning his attention to Rina by my side. He approaches Rina as he speaks, grabbing her upper arm firmly. Wait, isn't this exactly like the Yuki Rao? But this time with Rina? What the hell? Hey, hey hang on a minute, AG. Not like I know what's going on, but aren't Yuki and Rina on break right now? This is exactly like Yuki Rao, dude. What the fuck? Why did they do that? Reuse it? They could have thought of something else. Or maybe it's uh, they're on a rush. At the very least, I appreciate we didn't go messing with the scant free time they have without reason. Yeah, they're just reusing the scenes now. <laughs> he looks down at me condescendingly, a tinge of annoyance has off him after. Ah, <laughs> I thought we were talking about Rina now. He makes a deliberate show of petting Yuki hair before heading over to Yayoi. めんどくさいな、君も。もう少しリベラルな彼氏だと思ってたのにな。あ、分かったってば。たった今、俺新しい曲の全体的な主旋律が浮かんだ。メロディーがね。だからちょっとユキちゃんの声が欲しいって思
俺たちに行くぜリーダー車出すから I can't tell he's being deadly serious this time な誰も行かないなんて She takes a small step forward her slender body shaking I never seen her get this overwhelmed by emotion before いい子だ He reaches over and ruffles her hair. He brusquely shoves his hand away. Bakata, Bakata. Jai, so go. What an inspiration that Kiecha Maida. With that ridiculous parting remarks, AG exits the cafe. I stand there in shock, my head hanging in shame for a moment longer before returning to the bar. That guy, AG, freaks me out. I step back behind the bar without a single word. My boss remains equally silent. The place is dead without a single customer. The only sound is the music playing quietly and peacefully throughout the cafe. What day is it? So nothing until the 26th, huh? All right. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Um. I can't talk about romance with Monica. Let me check it out. I don't know about romance. Oh, boy. Oh, it's pretty much maxed out anyway. Uh... Come on, do hobbies. I'll be a good conversation. Well, what's my next big day? The 26th. Talk to Kira. Can I talk to Romance about Kira? Nope. Why not? Ah, oh, damn it, dude. I'm too low level. Actually, do you want to max that out? He stole both my girls for two weeks. It's true. It's okay, I have friends though. Look, I got a Kira and Haruka. That ain't that bad. I'm going to talk to Akira, uh, I guess, about books for the next two weeks. New conversation. Um, I wanna, let's quickly read this. I won't read this out loud. That's how I read Vegemite books. Way faster. There we go. It's pretty funny. But yeah, if I'm not streaming, I could probably beat this in a day. The entire route. That's what you do too. Yeah, just read. Paper bag. This shirt's almost maxed out. Oh. Damn, my small talk is so small. This. I don't want to like uh, explore too much of Haruka stuff. Cause we'll talk to Haruka on her route. Is this the 24th? No, 26th.
probably spawn talk again with Panika. Oh, if it's not oh yeah. new. Funny. If it's new. To entertainment. Right now I'd be level three. If I didn't have to rush the beginning. 26. What? Uh, is today the 26? Oh. Okay. I was about to say. Someone's calling me. What the fuck? They showed the phone. Yes, this is Fuji speaking. What the fuck is this? Saki? As soon as I pick up the phone, they immediately say my name, as if to confirm who I am. But who's calling me? The voice sounds familiar. Rina? Nah, it's Misaki. There's a short pause before she answers. Oh, damn it, dude, it's Rina. I don't know why I thought Misaki. They sound different. What? I don't know why I said Misaki. No problem, I'm the only one who answered anyway. Alright, Nina's pretty strict when it comes to etiquette. Though I guess being an idol means she's more sensitive about making sure she protects her image. So much that it's a pretty unusual for her to forget such a common social platitude. Are you tired, Rina? Not exactly. You just seem kind of out of it. Are you busy? She is the front runner for first place. I guess her ability goes beyond simple talent. Huh. Everyone else? Naturally, that includes Yuki too. Rina seems to be to have no combs over competing against her Imoto-like colleague Yuki. Whatever the outcome, we're praying that both of them can give the competition their best shot. Is there something I can do for you today? I tried to figure out why she's calling, only to once again be met by silence. Rina? Oh. Mm. She suddenly begins hemming and hawing. What's going on with her today? You know, usually the one who prefers cutting right to the chase without wasting time. Do you need me to come to NSAD? Oh, She's being really evasive. So, is there something you want to talk to me about? Oh, I see. So, in other words, she just wanted to chat? No, it's fine. You know me. I'm never really busy anyway. But from worrying about catching me at a bad time, I feel like our usual position have been flipped. Not in the slightest. I was only just hanging around my room doing nothing. But also, you shouldn't have to worry about all that kind of stuff when you're calling a friend, you know? Yeah, of course. Then maybe she didn't like the tomodachi for her. She wanted to be more. Exactly, don't worry about it so much. <laughs> yeah, all I did was talk to you on the phone though. When I hear her say how our phone call means a lot to her, I feel my heart skip a beat. Oh, right. That makes sense. Thinking about it, it seemed kind of obvious that she wouldn't have any work friends. Our idea of what makes this phone call meaningful might be different, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm only one Rina calls. And I feel truly honored. Huh? What's that? A car horn? Are you outside? Yeah. 
っちに行ってもいい。Oh, fuck! Huh? The question catches me completely off guard. Rina coming here right now? ごめんなさい。そしたらまたわがまま言ってる。急に押しかけられたら、どうやくも迷惑よね。ごめんなさい。ただの思いつきだから忘れて。As quickly as she brought it up, she retracts her request to come visit me. She is acting really weird today in so many ways. Something must have happened. I get the feeling it's probably related to work. But if she wants to come here, then it means she wants to talk about something. Well, it's not like I'm doing anything of any grave importance right now. And I know exactly what to say at a time like this when a friend's clearly in trouble. It's fine. Come on over. Nemo. I was pretty bored anyway. Besides, you shouldn't have to feel shy or anything. We're friends. Her voice is so quiet that I can barely hear her. I answer in a cheerful way of voice as I can muster, acting like I didn't hear her. Do you want me to wait here for you? You're going to get a ride over, right? Or should I meet you somewhere? There's a park near the station. Do you find it? Wait, how do you know about it? You really saw it? Nope, there's only one near the station. But you are sure you want to meet there? You wouldn't prefer a cafe or something? Alone with me? I know I shouldn't read too much into those words. Yeah, my heart starts racing in response. I'm practically out the door. Okay, sure. Okay, then. Let's put on my pants and let's get the hell out of here. I'm in there. Damn, this man wear his pants at home? Oops, almost forgot my key. There's no way I can take my time after Rena asked me to meet her. Despite her telling me not to rush, I find myself doing just that as I run out the door. To be fair, I'm easily get to meet in person before she does, even if I walk really slowly. I can't help but feel like I need to hurry. I race over the dry asphalt in the direction of the park, thankful. That's not a snowing today. Oh shit, foreshadow. <sighs> White clouds and my breath obscure my vision. I wave them away in noise, despite knowing they'll vanish within seconds. Still not here yet. When she said she was on her way, she was just outside the studio, meaning it still might be another five minutes. Not nearly enough time. To go somewhere else and come back. Might as well stay put. Still, when she called, she made it seem like she needed to see me right away, despite her words saying otherwise. Maybe it's something she can't talk about on the phone. Still, the Rena I know would have at least mentioned she had something she wanted to talk about to me about ahead of time instead of leaving me completely in the dark. Meaning something must have happened. Yuki and Eiji are always nearby. Her wanting to meet me outside of work means it might be something she doesn't want them to overhear. Either that or maybe she just wanted to see me. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, right. Dude, doesn't she look like Cessna in this picture? Ray, for a minute, I was like, Cessna? I was like, oh yeah, this is the first game. She looks very similar to Cessna. I think it's because they have like the same hair color. Right? Hang on a sec. The girl running in my direction. Is it Rena? No, it's still too early for her to be here. Not enough time has passed. Though from where I'm standing, it looks like her. Huh? Is that really Rena? How did she get here so fast? Rena? Huh? She runs right by me. Seemingly without seeing me. What? Is Cessna? She time travel? 
I watch as she looks around frantically. <laughs> what the fuck? Am I a ghost? As she struggles to uh, catch her breath, she smooths her coat and tosses her hair. <laughs> she begins walking again, looking far less frazzled. There is no time to stand here, suddenly watching her go. Rina! <gasps> what the fuck? Did you not see me? You ran right past me! It's me! You ran here! What the hell? Her denials sound almost reflexive. What? Uh, yeah, not like I ran here or anything, though. What exactly did we both run here for? To be fair, I'd rather have gotten here first than taken my time and made her wait. Why don't we sit on that bench instead of standing here? I get it. You want to avoid more public spots because you're not incognito today? It would have been fine. Like I said, it's just killing time. But more importantly, wouldn't it be a huge mess if someone sees you? Why's that? Makes sense. Everyone's en route to where they belong. From students going home to salesmen heading back to the office. In the midst of all that, we're meeting at the park. That's far too figurative for me to see it as romantic. For someone as famous as you, Rina, you're better to, uh, on the side of caution. Like slipping past crowds of people as quickly as possible. I didn't say you did. At any rate, I guess we're standing here. We slip around behind a nearby fountain. What? What are you hiding for? So what's going on? Weren't you busy getting ready for the music festival? So you suddenly have some free time. So that's the only reason why she wanted to see me? What's that? Stop acting like you don't know. Yeah, I can't believe you say Rina was mean, bro. She's so nice. She's only mean to her niece, son. In the beginning of the game when she punches me in the face. But that's about it. Unless, maybe at the end. She's different in the anime. She felt different. Strong, independent, who needs no man. I don't get that vibe in this game. This game seems like she just want to be a normal girl. She's a famous celebrity that just want to be normal. That's what they kind of give in this game. Like, she's, she's more like a cool girl that does what you think a celebrity would do. Like, go hang gliding. She probably has a lion as a pet. Drive a Ferrari. Things like that. But, you know what? Even though she did all those cool things, deep down, she just want to be a normal girl. Just like you and me. Well, not like a normal girl, girl. A normal people, or whatever. She takes a deep breath. As a calming herself down like earlier. Uh, I don't judge. Sure, it's 2023. What's the? That's the real reason why she's here. Yuki Messenger. Man, what the fuck? She lying. Toya, don't fall for this stupid shit, bro. No way, bro. She just wanted to see you. Think about it rationally, it makes sense. What exactly was I hoping for? Oh, he bought the bait. What a dumbass. Dude, you know, there's a lot of dumb main characters out there in the visual novel world and the anime world in general. Toya is so stupid, bro. He takes the cake. 
He's dumb. Her willingness to take time out of her own busy schedule to do something nice for Yuki is very sweet. But you gotta remember, in the perspective of Toya, he's also nice. So he's gullible, naive. But because he's so pure and innocent, he sees the goodness of everyone heart. That's what makes him so attractive. That's why he get every girl. And that's why I'm here playing the game, pretending I was him. I'm kind of jealous of Yuki. That's very nice of you. Wait, why am I jealous of Yuki? <laughs> Having said that, she should, she's the type to try to handle everything on her own until she absolutely can. How is Yuki doing anyway? She hasn't caught any codes or anything, right? But we make sure it's salt and warm water, right? Of course. Oh yeah? And what is that? Really? Why the wrist? Is she really okay? Any recent fevers or anything? We must share a similar sense of humor, and she's unable to hold back her laughter. She resumes talking about Yuki between giggles, still clearly amused. Yeah, I had no idea. She's always with Eiji, huh? No, don't read too much into it. I mean, Yuki's an up-and-coming idol, and Eiji is her producer, composer, and president for a management company. In fact, they spent practically every day together ever since she joined his company with the specific goal of becoming a famous singer. The only thing that's different is the way I've come to feel about it. Huh? With what? What are you talking about? I'm not worried about that. Excuse me. Despite still being a relative newcomer to the industry, she has someone by her side to support her. Even with the dizzying out of work on the plate, I know she's incredibly happy where she is. And I should be happy for her. Even more so when I think about her. What makes you think that? As her boyfriend. What the fuck? I can eat. I'm eating enough. Though to be fair, I can't say with any confidence that she's entirely wrong. <laughs> she is less like her Nissan, bro. What the fuck? You know I like Yuki. And AG knows Yuki likes Toya. Yet, the siblings want to drive us apart from each other. What the hell, dude? What? Huh? You think she's talking about herself? No matter how much attention she gets from the fans and station staff, it's not the same. Only your love can fill the happiness or the emptiness. You think she's talking about herself when she said that? I feel like she was talking about herself. But she just so happened to be right about Yuki being lonely. She has been that way, even when we were kids. We've been friends since we were kids? I didn't know Yuki was my childhood friend. She seems fickle and unreliable, yet she uses her anxieties and weaknesses as a springboard towards the future. Seeing her trying so hard is encouraging in its own way. But it also makes me feel like she's leaving me behind at the same time. 
Though I know how selfish that viewpoint is. You're making me blush. Damn, dude. I like her. I'm not gonna lie. I think she stole my heart with this line. Fuck, that's a good line. <laughs> oh, fuck. She got me. I'm sorry, Yuki. It's time to cheat. Damn. She's trying to make it look natural now. She flashes a self deprecating smile. It comes off as a show of courage or loneliness. She talks about love as if something's out of her reach. Unlike Yuki, Rina comes off as strong. Well, no, she is strong. And yet at her core, she's unexpectedly fragile and sensitive. I can't help but feel somewhat closer to her because of it. It changes her from an idol on a stage, seemingly so impossibly far away, to an ordinary girl. It's her pager. She looks at me hesitantly. I get the feeling that our time together here at the park is coming to a close. She averts her gaze almost apologetically. She rummages through her coat pocket, searching for the source of the annoying noise. It's all too easy for me to figure out what that phone call was about, and yet neither of us seems to want to talk about it. A few moments pass in silence. Sure. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. I always enjoy our conversation. Her usual laid back smile quickly resurfaces. I've been pretty worried based on her behavior over the phone since it was so unlike her how she usually acts. But I guess I read too much into it. In person, she was back to her usual self, the arena that I became very familiar with. Yep, later. She rushes past me. Even her profile, which I glimpse out of the corner of my eye, looks the same as always. So, what was that just now? I can't help but think she's putting on a brave face. It's easy enough to fake a smile, after all. I have a feeling that, with her back turned, that smile was quickly replaced by a far more somber expression. I forced down the worst I want to say, frowning at the unfairness of it all. My anxiety comes rushing back. I have nothing I could point to without any certainty as evidence. But as I watch her walk away, it's impossible for me to picture a smile on her face. Can I really let her walk off like this? Stop her. Hey! Easy. It's enough to stop her in her tracks, despite how quiet my voice is. But she makes no move to turn around. That's enough to make me think. I lost my chance. Nani? Yes. I nod vaguely as I remember something else. A phone call earlier. It's pretty out of character, almost unthinkable for Rena to bear her feelings before anyone else. So there's something else going on here. The cause of this anxiety. Perhaps something brought about by the music festival to itself. But she was able to somehow calm herself down before she reached the park. She didn't want to bother me with her problems, even up to the last minute. Though it wouldn't have bothered me at all. I was wondering, can I come over? When Rena asked me that, I remember being overjoyed, thinking she felt comfortable coming to me for help. I can't do much, but I can at least listen to her problems, which might have been all she needed to keep going. All I want is for her to open up, at least a little, so she doesn't keep everything bottled up inside. But until that happens, I'm still be there to support her any way I can. That's what I want to tell her. Even if things take a turn for the worse. I have a message. For Yuki. Uh, oh. mm. 
Makes you sound happy to sad. Please tell her this. Oh, fuck. He's so fucking smooth. I love that. Please tell her this. That I'm really worried about Rina. When I was a kid, I took everything at face value. Good luck. That little phrase says everything. But when we become adults, we realize there are hidden meanings to everything. Yeah. I found on my way through an attempt at cheering her up. Actually, what I really want to say is that there's no need to get worked up over stuff like the music festival. Everyone on TV and the magazines are saying that Rena is the prime candidate for first place. Who cares what actually happens? That's proof enough that everyone knows how talented Rena is. No matter what anyone says, there would never be anyone like her. That's not good enough as far as encouragement goes. But she still seems to be waiting for me to continue. But I can't say I necessarily agree. Because I want you to get first place. Oh, no, Yuki. Oh, fuck. It would be unfair if you didn't. Because you are number one. And you work so hard. <laughs> what am I saying, right? All I ever do is make a mess of everything. Sorry for burdening you with my selfish ramblings. <laughs> but then, good luck with the music festival. No, I know I don't really need to tell you that. A rapidly rising sense of shame and guilt pushes me back. I start walking away from the park while trying hard not to run. Lacking the courage to look back at her. I hear the sound crunching under shoes behind me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I said that. I hear her trying to call me back, but I can't seem to stop my feet from moving. She's going to tackle him. She catches up to me right away. I don't even have time to turn around. I feel her sigh on her back, followed by the sweet scent of her hair. She's so close, incredibly close. It's almost like we're one in being. The part of my back where she's pressing her forehead against me suddenly heats up. How do he can have Cessna? Then she is my Cessna and White Album One. Looking down on us, it's still dark. The world somehow seemed even more vivid, being alone with Rina in the corner of a tiny park. That's why you called me? Her words dissipate into a deep sigh. One acceptance of relief. It's pretty rough, huh? I can't help but feeling embarrassed about my lack of vocabulary, especially at a time like this. But she doesn't seem to mind, and instead purrs happily. Oh, 
気合い入ってるねとか言われるのよ<笑>バカみたいまるでピエロね私って Even top idols make mistakes sometimes But I guess she doesn't want anyone to know when she does It's fine, let it out. None of them can hear you right now. I can tell she's about to say something, but then changes her mind. It's still a hesitant feeling in the air between us. You're in rough shape, huh? I faintly hear her head nod against my back as she speaks. Do you know why? Her hesitation is enough. The link signifying the severity. Well, wouldn't he be there? Don't tell me he's in the hospital. Talking about the incident at Echoes. That time when I was working at the cafe and Eiji suddenly appeared before whisking them away. I remember what a foul mood he's been in because I've been there. Perhaps that resentment towards me still remains. Her training? Hearing her name again catches me off guard. It leaves me feeling unsettled. Luckily, a faint agitation isn't strong enough for her to feel something's wrong. Rina sighs softly yet again, sadly, like she's sympathizing with Yuki's plight. But that help comes at the expense of him abandoning you. It's a pretty harsh burn if you step back and think about it. Or from a perspe different perspective, you, you might call it evidence of her faith in Eiji's steady hand as a producer. So that's the problem, huh? It definitely sounds like something Eiji would do. He doesn't seem to care at all about Rina, about his Imoto's feelings. Sounds like a tough situation. It's hard to say if he made the right choice or not. And I doubt he's doing any of this maliciously or that he wants to hurt her. Which is probably why with nowhere to turn, she's been bawling up her frustration this whole time. Damn, dude! Is that the real reason he's trying to get Yuki at the top? So Ogata Production is guaranteed to win the music festival? He is a business-like person. I, don't know, I feel like there's a deeper meaning. Let's keep reading, I guess. Or maybe we gotta wait till the other character around to find out. She probably assumed her showdown with Yuki would be much later in her career. But thanks to each of all people, it's going to happen at the most prestigious music competition in Japan. For Eiji, it has nothing to do with whether Rinos or Yuki is the best idol or singer. What matters to him is creating a performance that best showcases his own talents. Meaning Rina or Yuki are nothing more than additional stage props. In this case, Rina is Eiji Imoto. 
and he should, by all rights, by taking her feelings into consideration? Or is it that him letting her train, mostly on her own, is the evidence of how much he trusts her to take down the competition without his help? The reality of the situation is that he had to deal with unimaginable levels of both hostility and approval while lacking the precious pillar of support. And despite all of that, she still has to work as hard as ever to keep her title as a top idol within the industry. Outstanding success is for the baseline for her. Failure would tarnish her reputation as an artist. And that's not all. The support she lost would be even further out of reach. At times like this, it feels like there's truly nothing I can do other than simply stand here. Rena. I feel like such a loser. You're under so much stress and just nothing I can do to help. <laughs> that's all I'm good at doing. Uh, that's the only thing the main character is good at doing. He got no fucking special skills. His special skills as a MC Haram God is that he's a nice guy with good listening skills. And sometimes that's all you really need. You just need to listen to what your soulmate has to say. I feel her lean a bit more of a weight on my back. Damn, his soulmate does happen to be very, very lonely people. Yuki got no friends. Rina got no friends. Haruka. I don't know. I don't know about Haruka, Misaki, and Mana. Let's see what happens. I feel like they got friends. What's the other girl? Sayako? I don't know about her. ここまで来たから。私にとっては兄さんだけだった。でも兄さんはそうじゃなかったのね。ゆきが現れてからはみんな兄さんと you don't have to. from qualified to take on that role in her life. There's no way nobody like me could support someone as famous as Rina, but... Even if I'm not a musical genius, I can still support Rina in other ways. Like what I'm doing right now by listening to her. If she finally feels comfortable enough to open up to me about how she truly feels, then her apologies will actually mean something instead of ringing hollow. You can cry on my shoulder whenever you need to. It's the least I can do for you, Rina. If giving her a space to vent is all it takes to make her feel better, then there's no reason to balk at it. <laughs> Good. I don't want you to forget. Forever! Promise! Forever! Forever. What? What the fuck? What about Yuki? <laughs> what do you mean forever? As long as you continue singing. Oh, that's a condition. As long as you continue singing, forever. 
しい注文ね私だって年も取るしいつまでも現役ってわけにはいかないから I don't care if you're middle age or singing from a nursing home if you're the top idol or standing center stage I just love your voice and the music you make It has nothing to do with you being a top idol Damn, he's good. I like Toya. See, sometimes, okay, most of the time he's a dumbass. But the author throw him a bone and makes him smooth. Drip. Is it snowing? Air vent tremble in her voice. I feel her body shake against my back. Damn, it's raining outside, huh? It's not her crying, it's the rain. They could have draw her crying. They didn't. I never said those things to her. Oh! Because I never get to see her. She's always working. <laughs> Fuck! I never said anything like this to Yuki. Only to you, Rina. Possess this main character. He went from no Chad, nothing, no drip, no riz, no charisma. This guy was the dumbest of the dumb. How he got his girl stolen by a a white-haired chump. Where he's pulling all these words from? I thought he had a small vocabulary. He's so smooth. This guy makes how to pick up girls video. Why is he so smooth all of a sudden? He just woke up one day and was like, you know what? I'm feeling pretty smart today. <laughs> Let's pick up Rina. It's like he changed to another character, honestly. It's such a drastic difference from his everyday life to the main story. They should make it consistent. He should be consistently this good. Not like only when it matters. Rina. Dang. Yeah. Rina is alone. Up until now, she's always been truly alone. She never had a shoulder to cry on like this. He only knows his smooth talk chicks, but when he talk to chicks though. He's not this smooth. Only, only when it matters. He is. He's only this smooth when the pressure is on. That's when something him awakens. You don't know, like how the, you know, the in Naruto, like the Uchiha's awaken Shiningan. They had to kill the best friends. He'll awaken his inner Shiningan when he see a girl cry. When he see a girl cry, his inner, his inner smoothness awaken. He was like, I got to make her feel better. Let me sweet talk her. I reached down and silently hold her hand on my waist. What? Hold my hand or hold her hand? On my waist? What does that mean? Like I'm trying to protect her bare skin from the cold, dry air. Sure. Damn, all fucking night. <laughs> what? <laughs> At some point, our words dried up, and it felt like we've been standing there forever. And yet, the winter cold didn't seem to bother us as Twilight transitioned to night. This is rated PG. This might have been an H scene at the park. The other breeze was starting to pick up. The bitter chill I'd grown used to was gone. Spring is just around the corner. I can feel the changing season on my skin. New season, new girl. 
Yeah! Sorry, Yuki. I like Rina more. You had your chance. But you got kissed by Eiji and liked it. Eiji's not a kiss, is Emoto. He's not that much of a freak, right? I'm sorry, you uh, incest, wincest fans. But that's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go. We got this. Rina, best girl. All we did was hold hands the entire day. But that was worth it. Hell yeah. We did it. The Rina route is finally shipping. We did it, guys. We told Rina. We never told Yuki any of this. In fact, we haven't talked to Yuki for like a year. Yuki who? I want you to win, Rina. Let's do it. We're all going to root for Rina on this route. Sorry, Yuki. You had your route. It's time for Rina to shine. She got to win. I wonder how it's going to end, right? Is she's going to win the music festival? And Toya. Or does she have to give up being an idol to be with Toya? There's only one way to find out. It's to beat the game. So, I wonder... I don't want to do this because usually it's typically long, right? Technically, we have a month left, but they do have a lot of content that month. Maybe we would just like uh, the next stream is going to be extra long, I guess. We'll try to finish Rena route next time. Did I save? I hope I did. But with that, appreciate everyone that stopped by. It's been cool. Let's root for Rena Chun next time. All right. Later, buddy.